welcome to wings of arrow today our topic is unsymmetrical bending in this video we can see an outline of bending types of bending bending equation centroid symmetrical and unsymmetrical bending with examples and the method of calculating the bending stress using k method first we'll see what is mean by bending so the behavior of a structural element subjected to an external load applied perpendicularly to an longitudinal axis of the element a bending movement is a reaction induced in a structural element when an external force or a movement is applied to the element caused by the element to bend that is mean by bending the bending movements acts along the axis of the members the zero stress exists at the centroid and the line of centroid is called as neutral axis further as you can see in the figure displayed in your screen for a beam subjected to a pure bending movement the stress generated on the neutral layer is zero the line of intersecting of the neutral plane and any cross section of the beam is also called as neutral axis there are types of bending movement sagging and hogging so when we can see the bending movement gives an positive impact or positive bending movement we call as sagging and when the bending movement gives a negative impact or negative we call as hogging that is an easy way to remember sagging and hogging you know an emoji if you put a dot over here it creates like a smiley face so smile s and sagging s both gives a positive impact so the positive bending movement and the smile that means you can remember the shape how it acts and the other one is hogging which is a negative impact here comes the bending moment equation so m by i equals to sigma b by y equals to e by r now what is m i sigma b y and e r so m represents a bending moment where i represents the second moment of area or second moment of inertia both are same sigma represents bending stress and y represents the displacement when the load is applied on a beam e represents young's modulus and whereas r represents the radius of curvature when the load is applied onto the beam now here comes what is mean by centroid and you might have a confusion what is mean by centroid and center of gravity so first comes what is mean by centroid the point at which the enter area acts on it or the point of any geometrical figure at which the area or volume of the section concentrates this is called as centroid now comes what is mean by center of gravity center of gravity is a point at which the mass or weight of a body acts in it or we can also say that the point at which any object whose mass and weight of the body concentrates now comes how to find the location of centroid physically as you can see the formula displayed in your screen or if we have a three section we can write as y bar equals to a1 into y bar 1 plus the number of elements divided by number of elements area similarly if we have three element of an any structure or a section we can write the x bar as displayed in your screen now what is the difference between neutral axis and the centroid 
So here comes neutral axis is the axis at which the strain is zero when the beam is subjected to bending. That means the neutral axis is also perpendicular to the plane of the loads. Whereas centroid is any axis that passes through the centroid of the cross section of any section. It can be an infinite number of centroidal axes. That is a fundamental difference between neutral axis and centroid. Now comes what is meant by symmetrical bending. The plane of loading or a plane of bending is coincident with or parallel to a plane containing a principal centroid axis of inertia of a cross section of the beam or we can also call it as if for a symmetrical section when the load is applied vertically along the y axis then we will get or achieve a symmetrical bending in other words we can also can write the bending stress is sigma z equals to mx ix of y plus my iy of x the bending stress along the neutral axis will be zero here comes unsymmetrical bending so what are the conditions for unsymmetrical bend here before that we have few three important assumptions the first one is the plane section of the beam remains plane after bending second comes the material of the beam is homogeneous and linearly elastic and the third one there is no net internal axial force what is meant by unsymmetric bending it can act on two conditions the first one is if the section is unsymmetric when the section of a beam is not symmetrical about the plane of a bending it causes an unsymmetrical bending second if the section is symmetric but about the plane we applied and screw load or incline load it causes and leads to an unsymmetrical bending these are the few examples of unsymmetrical bending as shown or displayed in your screen here are few unsymmetrical sections which leads to occur an unsymmetrical bending whereas l section or we can also call as angle section z section and t section here are few methods three methods of calculating a bending stress the first one is k method second one is principal inertial axis and the third one is neutral axis here comes the k method formula sigma b equals to y of mx i y y plus m y i x y minus x open the bracket mx i x y plus m y i x x by i x x i y y minus i x y square now if the section having three elements or three nodes we can write the formula of i x x and i y y like this as displayed in your screen and i x y are can be also written like this thank you for watching if you have further inquiry drop down to the mail wings of arrow at gmail.com thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates take care stay blessed